Hello, in this tutorial we are going to create low poly art. Sometimes it's called polygon art or geometric art and that's what we're going to create today and we're going to use a portrait. I've also added a link to this image in the description of this video so that you can follow along with me. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to do it in a really easy way because we're only going to do half of the picture to make it quicker for us. Then we're going to flip that half around put them both together and create a lovely symmetrical low poly portrait. It's a great tutorial, really fun. Let's get straight into it. Hello, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography and you can find us at theschoolofphotography.com where we teach you the best in photography education. In this tutorial, we're gonna look at creating low poly art or polygon art. And we're gonna use a portrait, like I said before, the link is in the description. Download it, follow along with me, and let's have some fun with it. Let's go. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop, and here is the final image. I've done everything in this folder here, called here's one I made earlier. And there's all my layers, and I'll come to that in a minute. But for now, I'm gonna just hide that and I'm gonna reveal the actual picture that we're gonna use, which is this one here. Now yours, when you open it up, might just say background, but it doesn't matter, it's the same thing. So I'm gonna full screen it by pressing Control and zero. And the first thing that we need to do is split this picture in half. So I'm gonna add a new guide by going View, New Guide, and Vertical like that. And then let's just zoom out with my navigator here. And then you can see this new guide here. I'm gonna pull it across. And as you can see, it snaps into place like that. So I'm gonna pull it across and I'm gonna snap it into place like that. Then I'm gonna select my rectangular marquee tool over here. And I'm gonna duplicate this layer down the bottom first. So I'm gonna right click I'm gonna go duplicate layer and I'm gonna click OK like that. Then I'm going to select half of my picture. Now it will snap into place like that. So it snaps directly down the middle line, just like that. If it doesn't, all you do is you go to view and you make sure that snap is clicked there. Okay, now you've got it selected. All you do is you hit the backspace. Now. You can't see anything changing on the picture and that's because they've got the, we've got one underneath here. But if you can see on that layer, it's now half empty. So I'm gonna now hide that layer there. I'm gonna zoom in using my navigator at the top. And the next thing we need to bring up is our grid. And to do that, we go to Edit, Preferences, grids, guides, and rulers. And here, now this, it depends on what version of Photoshop you're using, but this is, um, it's all the same. You need this section here that's called grid. And just make sure that you've got a grid line every two centimeters and subdivisions of four. And then in this drop down, you, you select the little dots here, not the line. It will probably say the line on yours. Just select the little dots, click okay like that. Then go view, show, grid, and it will come up like this. The next thing you need to do is select the polygonal lasso tool, which is over here in your toolbox. Click on this one here and select polygonal lasso tool. Now, because we've got our grid up and we've got snap selected, we can snap our lasso tool, our polygonal lasso tool, to the grid. So I'm just gonna click here, and as you can see, it is snapping to where I want it to go. So I'm gonna go like that and create a triangular shape. Then I'm gonna to go to filter, blur, and go to average. Now what that actually does is, it takes all the colors that are inside that selection, and it averages them out, and it puts them in a block like that, which is exactly what we want. And let's keep going. Now I'll click again there and we want our lines to snap. Can you see how it snaps next to the old triangle that we've just created? So let's create another one there. Now this time 
I can do the shortcut key control plus F because it what the control plus F shortcut does is it puts the last filter in that you added so let's do that control F easy so now I'm going to do this next bit up here and this time do a nice big one like that control F and again over here like that control F and you can keep going and keep going so what I'm going to do now is just show you roughly how you should do this um, look for patches of tone so where you've got skin you're going to do let's zoom out a little bit where you've got skin you can do big triangles like there's a big patch of tone here for instance and then you can go control and F and you can put that patch of tone in there and so on and so forth there's another kind of quite light tone here and control and F and so on and where you've got eyes and eyebrows and noses and lips in them bits you want to do smaller triangles okay so there's no point you watching me do all of this I'm going to fast forward and go to the one that I made earlier now and show you that one okay I'm now in the one that I made earlier and I've dragged my layers palette out up here so I can show you the layers that I've created so that is the original image that we've already cut in half and then here is where I've added all of them um, triangles now I want to show you this because what you should be doing is every five minutes ten minutes or so you should be right clicking and going duplicate layer and then you just work on the next layer which will be the one above like that right and you do that because if you make a mistake if you do the whole thing on one layer and you make a mistake you've got to go backwards right to the beginning and you're not going to like that so if you create a new layer every five minutes or so then you just got to delete that one layer and it so it says it just makes it um, a bit more non-destructive for you so make sure you're doing that so let's just prove the point so that's the original that's my first layer that's the second layer and I added a bit more there and done the lips and that's the last layer there where I've done the hair and the ear there like that okay so now we're gonna look at doing the final stage so here's my final stage here I've grouped it so if I reveal it that's what it looks like firstly select your top layer here and what we've got to do is we've got to delete everything and only have the face left so let's zoom out by going control zero to full screen it and then with my polygonal lasso tool what I'm going to do is I'm going to click around the face and try and match up where my triangular shapes were and then I can just click like this click like this I'm going to go control and minus to zoom out a little bit further go all the way round till I can close the selection like that then quite simply I hit the backspace now again it's showing all of these underneath so I just hide them like that and then I need to delete this white bit here for that I'm going to use the magic wand tool which is over here click on the magic wand tool click the white press the backspace go control and D to deselect and there you have a perfect half of a low poly portrait okay now I want you to create a new layer and fill it with white and we do that by clicking the new layer icon down the bottom here we're going to drag that underneath the layer we've just been working on and we're going to go edit fill and we're going to select white from the drop down and click OK and now we've filled it with white the next thing you do is select your top layer here the one with the half of the face you right click and you go duplicate layer just click OK like that and then we're gonna flip it and we're gonna stick it back to the to the face to the other half of the face so we're gonna go edit transform and flip horizontal just like that 
Then you need to select your move tool at the top here. You need to hold down the shift key and then you're gonna click and drag it across. If you don't hold the shift key down, it won't do it exact. You're gonna match it up like that. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just so that I can see if I've done it or not. And you can hide this guide and the, um, the guideline and the grid by pressing Control and H. And there you can see I've got a little bit of a gap there. So I'm gonna hold down the Shift key again and put it bang into place just like that. And there you have a nice low poly portrait. Brilliant. And there you go. That's how you create a low poly portrait in Photoshop. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please support us here at the School of Photography by sharing the video and liking it and subscribing to our channel. Also come over to the schoolofphotography.com where we've got loads of free tutorials for you to learn photography and Photoshop too. Also join our wonderful learning community on social media. Come and check us out on Facebook and Instagram and join in with people who are learning photography just like yourselves. Thanks for watching and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.